Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Carla. I am a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home wife and a full-time working from home mom. So, yeah. Thanks for clicking on my channel and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have fun hanging out with me. I made um, spaghetti for lunch and my daughter, <sighs> she's a mess. <laughs> Hi, do you like the spaghetti? It's yummy, huh? Um, what about daddy? You're so sweet. Oh my gosh. She's pooping. Oh baby. Okay, Eliza's taking a nap right now. She's been napping for like 30 minutes maybe. I had to do other stuff but while well, she was napping. But she has like an hour left for a nap. So I'm going to try to clean as much as I can. This is the current state of the kitchen. I'm going to do like a 10 minute cleanup and see how far I get with this. Because I still have to record my bathroom cleaning. This is the current state of my kitchen. Oh my goodness. Scary, scary, scary. Eliza has a few noodles on the floor. I'm going to transfer this to a different container because she keeps getting into it and it's not fun. But... My goodness, time to clean it. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer for 10 minutes. Let's see how much I can get done in minutes. bad um it wasn't 10 minutes it was more like 20 minutes of cleaning but still not bad still need to wipe the counters and stuff but yeah way better than before it's a little later eliza woke up from her nap i'm hungry i think i am going to make an oatmeal that sounds really good right now and i'm really sleepy too i think i'm going to make a dirty chai i'm so sleepy but i still have some work done to do what i still have some work to get done yes i should probably try to power through that make coffee make a snack while eliza is occupied with her toys and I'll probably give her a snack too Peanut butter oatmeal. I'm gonna have my banana, which I will share with Eliza because she never eats a whole banana. My banana's bruised. I don't really slice the banana, I just like grab it with my spoon, like slice it with my spoon. And then, not that anyone asks, I grab a scoop of my oatmeal and then that's how I eat it. But it's hot. 
How do you guys test if your food is hot? Do you like test with your tongue, like, or do you like just put it in your mouth and then you go <laughs> to cool it down while you eat? Because I do either or. Okay, so I'm on Instagram and my friend posted that she meal prepped for her husband and I was like, oh, that's so great. And it just made me think, like the women that cook for their family all the time and, and just cook in general for their family and for their husband, like they're, we're literally, wives are literally personal chefs. No one's our personal chef. Like my husband's not freaking whipping it up in the kitchen for me. We're personal chefs. I had a personal chef when I lived with my mom. She was my personal chef. And now that I got married and decided to become an adult, I do not have a personal chef anymore. And that's really sad. I should not have grown up. Why did I do that? I, I got married at 19. I got married very young. And then I had to do all the responsibilities of like a wife and stuff. Um, don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm kidding. I love my husband and my little family. It's the, they're the best. But it's just funny like like I never thought of that growing up I'm like oh that's just mom but like moms are personal chefs moms are like personal maids like cleaners and stuff my grandma she would do my laundry and she still does my laundry for me like she'll come over once a week and do my laundry so like that's like one thing I'm so blessed with is that my family lives down the street and so my grandma when I uh, gave birth, I got so overwhelmed and I, I was like, how the heck does anyone do anything? How do moms do get anything done? And so my grandma offered to come over and do my laundry for me. She likes doing laundry anyway. She loves doing laundry. It's like her hobby. But yeah, I do not have a personal chef anymore. I, my mom was my personal chef and we don't even tip moms. I'm so sorry, mama. Like when I was a kid and I was hungry and my mom's like, oh, there's food at home. I'm like, I'm just gonna nap and wait till my mom makes the food at home and I'll nap and I wake up and then there's dinner. Like it was just so magical, but now it, it doesn't happen. I wake up and I'm still hungry. So those are like the little things that, you know, you don't really realize until you don't have it anymore or until you move out and stuff. So I do miss that. But since my mom is like two minutes from me, if I get hungry, I just go over there. <laughs> I like take Eliza with me and then she feeds us both. And my husband works a lot, so he just eats at work, but yeah, I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go to my mom's house to eat because I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so I guess things didn't really change much. Someone decided she wanted to join. Hi. Hi, welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? <laughs> Eliza, dance. Good job, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. This is why I started this channel. Like, this is why I want to vlog because she's just. <laughs> she's just so fun. I have a banana on my face because I kissed her. <laughs> Look at what she's doing. Good morning, it's the next day. It is actually 12 p.m. Eliza and I are going to lunch with my uncle. We're going to Hibachi Grill and we've never been there before, so we're going to try it out and see if it's any yummies. I'll continue um, this vlog on my phone because I don't, because some like, some buffets and like restaurants do not like when you record their food, so I think that's a little weird, but I'll just continue on my phone. Eliza's napping. She's been napping for like 30 minutes now and I forgot that um, I ordered like taste or cake tasting samples from this like little baker girl. I don't think she has her own shop. I think she bakes at her house but I ordered cake samples from her for I'm sorry I'm like recording I'm recording on my phone so that's why it's so shaky but I ordered cake samples from her um, for Eliza's first birthday and I forgot I ordered them. I forgot she's delivering them today. So I'm glad I came home in time for her to drop it off. So peanut butter frosting, lemon curd I think, chocolate, and then 
um, what are you, red velvet? Chocolate, or strawberry, and then chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna taste test these little cakes. My mom has joined me virtually. Okay, so I came with a vanilla buttercream. Mmm, it's really whipped, actually. That's like a really smooth buttercream. Okay, so this is peanut butter and then a piece of the chocolate. Why am I using this one? I guess these little spoons are not for the cake. It's for the frosting. Okay, so let's try the chocolate. I'm so excited. It's really dense. What a good thing that she's doing. Mmm. Oh, it's chewy. It's chewy. I like there's a lot of peanut butter flavor in that. I didn't even put a lot. There's a lot of peanut butter. Hmm. It's a little dry, just a little, but <coughs> oh god, it's choked. It's a good texture. I don't like fluffy, like cloud-like cakes, like angel fruit cake. I don't like that texture. I like it more dense. That was chocolate. Okay, strawberry. Let's put the lemon, lemon buttercream on it. The Strawberry is more moist. It's not as dry, but it's still a good texture. The lemon's good too. It's not, it's not like super tart. Okay, now let's do red velvet and chocolate. I didn't, usually you get like red velvet with the cream cheese, but I feel like every cream cheese frosting is the same. Mmm. This one is what, chocolate, chocolate? Chocolate and red velvet, which is basically chocolate. But the red velvet, mom, is closer to Drago's. The texture, it's chewy, it's moist, it's dense. Mmm. Yeah. We might get the red velvet for Eliza's birthday. If I were to rate it on a scale, I'd say chocolate last, uh, for cakes, chocolate, hey, it fell. Chocolate last, strawberry second, and then the red velvet first. Like, even looking at it, you could tell that this one's more moist. Like, you can see how it's glossy. This one, you can't really see the glossiness on here. But yeah, that's good. Hey guys, it's much later. It is 8 o'clock. It's late, I know. We eat, we're eat. we eating dinner pretty late. Um, I'm trying to get her on a better sleep schedule. Like, I want her to be in bed by 8, 8.30. But for that, she needs to wake up at 8 or 8.30 in the morning. And I don't wake up that early. So, it's. I'm having a hard time. It's my fault. Yeah, we're eating spaghetti again because I have a lot of leftover spaghetti. She just likes the ground beef in the spaghetti. Here. You're welcome. Oh, oh you tricked me. You tricked me. Oh. Oh. Hello, it's the next day, I think, or the next next day? I think I vlogged yesterday. I think it's the next day. Today, I am going to Target. Oh my gosh, it's late, it's 4.30. I did not get out of bed until three o'clock because I was so exhausted. I was exhausted. Yeah, she's not happy about it. She wanted to play with me, but I was like, Eliza, please, I need rest. Um, but I was just so exhausted from cleaning constantly. Again, the house is a wreck because um, just life. Like, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm so exhausted from cleaning and just like, and just momming and doing everything and working and oh my gosh, the list can go on. But yeah, I did not get out until three. My sister helped me watch Eliza and then my husband watched her for a bit too. What are you doing? Are you okay? But yeah, I'm going to Target. Um, Elias and I are going to Target. And then, oh, I got a package from Amazon. It doesn't look exciting in the box, so I'll have to unbox it later. But it is 100% organic bamboo fiber sheets. And I'm excited. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to Target. I'm leaving my sister at my mom's house because she's a little turd. Um, you invited me over. Because I was lonely. But. <laughs> Yeah, but the Eliza was sleeping and then you fell asleep. So whatever I was lonely anyway So yeah, we're going to Target Eliza and I I'm going to Dutch Bros too without 
her again. Do I have anything that I need to buy from Target? She said yes. No, I really don't. Will Target tell me what I need to buy? Yeah, most likely. Definitely, right? It will. Um, so I gave myself a $100 limit, which can buy me like two and a half things at Target. So let's go do that. Made it to Target. Eliza ripped out her hair tie at some point. Don't know where it went. And she keeps trying to grab my drink. I feel like this was a designer flaw <laughs> on Target's part. Yeah. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. okay, I have to buy Eliza new hair ties because she ripped hers out. So I'll just buy her a new pack. But she needs she needs some anyway, so. Okay, Joanna Gaines's books are 30% off. So this one would be $25, originally $35, and this one I believe $20. That's what the, the app said. Ugh, I don't know. I'll save another. Oh, I don't have the red card. I don't know if I should get both or one. I'll grab both and then I'll make a decision later. We've made it to the dangerous section of Target. The hearth and hand section. I really want this. I really, really, really want this. Um, definitely out of my $100 budget for today. Um, so far. <laughs> I got this decorative pillow for my bed. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to put these books back because my husband wants stuff for our room and that would not go in our room. So just trying to make my hubby happy. What I really want to get is this, but they do not have a king size, just full and clean. Eliza insisted on drinking my water and not hers and it spilled all over her. Lovely. Eliza ripped her hair tie out again. Oh, we're at Chick fil -A. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back home. It is 9.20. I was, okay, I planned to go to other thrift stores, but I did not expect to stay at Target, that's Eliza's, at Target um, for that long because of my stupid indecisiveness. I was like, I have $100 to spend and I just could not figure out what to spend it on. So Did I stick to the $100 budget? <laughs> so this is what I bought. <laughs> <laughs> so you spent the money. What money? The hundred dollars. Yes, I spent the hundred dollars. But did I only spend a hundred dollars? No, it's Target. It's Target. I will not disclose what I spent because my husband might be watching this. But I got this pillow um, for the bed or my master bed. And then um, I bought two of these other pillows. So it's going to, I'll show you guys. I'll put it on my bed and I'll show you guys. I don't think it's that choppable. Oh, I guess it is, huh? Oh, it's choppable. Good. That's an important thing. Oh, it's so soft. But yes, I bought two of these. And then um, I bought I bought the two Magnolia books for um, the coffee table or maybe for the lamp, the lamp table that I'm going to put in my room later on. But that's what they look like on the side. And then this one you could take off the little paper cover and then you could just have it gray, which I like. I think I like that better. Is that all I bought? I bought Eliza some sippy cups and the hair ties. I don't know where the hair ties went though. I think it fell out of the bag somewhere in my car, hopefully. But you you guys don't need to see that. So yeah, that's all I got from Target. I'll show you guys the bed sheets that the, um, what's it called? The bamboo bed sheets that I bought that I showed you earlier. Okay, so the brand's Cozy Lux. Cozy Lux. Cozy <laughs> Lux. <laughs> Um, and then I bought white. I bought white because this is going to sound opposite. My reasoning is going to sound like, okay, why would you get white? Anyways, I got white because I have eczema and I scratched the hell out of myself at precisely 3 a.m. <laughs> I don't know you why. You have a schedule? I think it's like the eczema ghost waking me up. <laughs> You know it's how, your alarm clock. You know how they say it's like they say like 3 a.m. is spooky time or whatever, and that's the eczema. Glitch. She just wakes me up and tells me to scratch. So I scratch the hell on myself in the middle of the night, which cuts me open, and then I I get blood on my bed sheets. Why did I get white? Because I could just bleach it, and the blood will be gone. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. <gasps> these are soft. Wrong. This is so soft. I don't know if you could see like the texture of it. I don't know if the texture is picking up on camera, but it's very soft. It's so sh Oh my gosh. I am going to put this on right now. Okay guys, this is the current state of my bed. Sorry, um, 
I'm talking a little quiet because Eliza's room is right there. <laughs> but this is the current state of my bed. The bed is not made. Um, it's a wreck. I have not made it. There's pillows on the floor, naked pillows on the floor, and naked pillows on the bed. <laughs> I don't know why there's naked pillows. I think we sleep aggressively because literally the pillows, I always wake up and the pillow sheets are off the, <laughs> the bed. So, or the pillow sheets are off. But the pillowcases are off of the bed, so I think I'm just a really aggressive sleeper. And my husband, I guess. I don't know. But let's go swap out those sheets. These things are really cool. They're like little, um, they look like, um, suspenders. <laughs> and they go on the corners of your bed, and it keeps your bed sheets from popping off, because that happens all the time. Because like I said, we're aggressive sleepers for some reason. Little life hack. I, um, once I figure out which corner it goes, I go on a, I write... On like the corner tag with a sharpie like bottom right corner so I know all the time and I don't have to figure it out every single time okay so here's the finished product it'll definitely look better with like um I want to get a waffle weave blanket and just throw it on the end and then of course like once my room is painted and all that it'll look better but right now I'm not sure how I feel Eliza's also awake I need to tend to her in a second but I, right now, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I think I'll marinate on it. brush my teeth, moisturize, and I'm ready for bed. It's 12 a.m. Yeah, I should have been sleeping like probably two hours ago, but um, oh well. I think the vlog is pretty long now, so good night. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun with you guys. Um, I don't even know what this vlog consists of, honestly, but I hope it's entertaining. I hope it was fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and going to Target and you know just all the stuff that you just watched because <laughs> again I don't know what I vlogged what did I vlog good night guys or good morning if you guys are watching this in the morning uh, thanks again for hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you want to help me out and help my channel out that would be so great um, and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for when I upload again. I hope you have a great rest of your week, a great rest of your day. Be kind, do nice things for others, and I'll see you guys next week. God bless.